the President of Somalia. Your Excellency, the Prime Minister of Ethiopia, Honorable Minister Nawi. Your Excellency, the Prime Minister of the Republic of Chad, Honorable Musa Faki Mahamad. Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of South Africa, Honorable Jacob Zuma. Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic, Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Atiku Abu Bakar. Your Excellency, the first, 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 first Vice President of the Republic of Sudan, Dr. Ali Osman Taha. Your Excellency, the Chairman of SPLA, SPLM. Dr. John Garan Dimabior. Your Excellency, the Secretary of State of the United States of America, General Colin Powell. Your Excellency, the Prime Minister, the Pre Vice President of Yemen, the Representative of the Secretary General of the United Nations, Dr. Jan Trump and Ambassador Mohammed Sanun. Your Excellency, the Secretary General of the Arab League, Dr. Amri Musa, delegation of Norway, the head of delegation of the Netherlands, the head of delegation of China, the head of delegation of Luxembourg, the head of delegation of Qatar, the head of delegation of India, the head of delegation of the Ukraine, the head of delegation of Pakistan, head of delegation of Italy, the special envoy and head of delegation of Canada. Head of Delegation of the African Union, the Deputy Chairperson, Dr. Patrick Mazmaka. The Head of Delegation of the United Arab Emirates. And may I, as a special correction, and with due respect, recognize the presence of His Excellency, the President of Djibouti, and a member of England. And Honorable Abdul Rahman Mohammed Salgam, Secretary of the General People's Committee for Foreign Liaison and International Cooperation, and Minister of Foreign Affairs of Libya. Your Excellencies, Ministers, Ladies and Gentlemen, it is indeed a great honor and privilege for me to say Kariburi, which means Swahili, it's welcome to this grand signing of the comprehensive Sudan Peace Agreement. I'd like to thank you for having attended in person to this historic occasion. And with that recognition of all distinguished ladies and gentlemen, many of whom have not been recognized in name, but do appreciate your presence, I would like now to request General Sumeyo to serve as the master of ceremony for the main part of this important historic occasion. I thank you. Thank you, Honorable Makwere. Your Excellencies, Heads of State and Government, Excellencies, Heads of respective delegations, 
Aye. Distinguished delegates, Aye. ministers present, Aye. Excellencies, fellow Igad envoys, Excellencies, ambassadors, and high commissioners, Aye. distinguished resource persons, Aye. members of the Igad Secretariat, invited guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the ICAD Secretariat on Peace in Sudan, the ICAD envoys, and on my own behalf, I welcome you to this historic signing ceremony of the Comprehensive Peace Agreement for Sudan. <laughs> My comments today will consist of short words of thanks to everyone who made this day possible. First and foremost, glory and honor be to God. With all this light, wisdom, guidance, love and grace, we would not be here to witness this event. Great has been his faithfulness. I congratulate and thank the delegates from the government of Sudan and from the People's Liberation Movement of Blackstock Army and to all Sudanese people for choosing peace and ending Africa's longest running conflict. Your patience and faithfulness to the negotiation process has demonstrated to the entire world that where there is a will, our Heavenly Father will help us to find a way to achieve our goals. I would like to thank Kenyan President Mikey Baki for sustaining the peace process. And I would follow on to thank former President Daniel Trotty Mori for his insightful in placing the, resol the resolution of the conflict in the Sudan on the Igad agenda. I would like also to take this opportunity to thank His Excellency the Ethiopian Prime Minister, His Excellency Mela Senawi. I would like to thank also not present here, His Excellency the Eritrean President Asas Abawaki, His Excellency the Ugandan President Yoweri Kakuta Museveni. <laughs> Former U.S. President Jimmy Carter, Honorable Minister John Bates, Honorable Kenyan Minister Stephen Kalonzo Nsioka, My predecessor Ambassador Daniel Boya, for their constant encouragement and continuous support of the Eagle Peace Process. Thank you to my colleagues, the Eagle Envoys, Ambassador Musa and Ambassador Togar of Ethiopia, Ambassador Omaro and Gabriel Maria of Eritrea, Ambassador Bush and Kutajira of Uganda, who have stuck with me through thick and thin, provide, providing their wise counsel during trying times. I would like also to express my appreciation to the many countries and organizations that have supported the peace process in so many ways over the years. In particular, I am grateful for the financial, diplomatic, and technical assistance that the IGA Secretariat has received from the countries of IGA Partners Forum of other countries, particularly Italy, Norway, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and the United States of America, as well as from Africa, Union, the European Union, the United Nations, the World Bank, and the International Monetary Fund. I am particularly thankful for the dedication and hard work of my colleagues in the Sakhika Secretariat for Peace in Sudan, who banned the midnight oil on more occasions than I can count. Finally, I would like to say a special word of thanks to all the resource persons and observers who have contributed to the success of IGAD mediation of the Sudan country. In particular, I am extremely grateful for the assistance and sage counsel provided by Alba Hashem, 